Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, we didn't decide who was going to say the intro, so hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us at Mother and Refuge of the End Times. And today we have a special guest. We have John Martinez joining us, and a, another special guest, Xavier, has jo joined us at the last moment. So this is going to be exciting. So welcome, everyone. For and thank you for joining us. This was a nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we should start with a prayer or else my kids are going to yell at me. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> would you be okay with probably starting us in with a prayer? Who? Who? Either, uh, John, can, would you mind starting us in with a prayer? Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, for bringing us together, Lord. And as we come, Lord God, I ask you to touch the hearts of every, of every person that is watching and is listening. I ask that the Holy Spirit touch them, Lord God, that you will kindle within us, within them, the fullness of your love, Lord. I ask you that, that you surround each one with your angels, Lord. They have many questions and many answers that whatever we speak will not be us, but it will be you, Lord God. And I bless them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John. And, and people probably don't realize you're actually a deacon. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Uh, I, 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 uh, I had to retire. <laughs> You had to oh, and I wanted to say thank you for your service. If people haven't realized, he's wearing a Vietnam veteran hat here with many medals right. on the side. Yes. <laughs> so thank you again for your service. Well, thank you, Jim. So I guess everyone here is curious about your recent messages and the map that you have shared with uh, the audience. Yes. Okay. I, I'm going to take this off, and I thank all uh, people that that support uh, God and freedom, and uh, uh, this is where 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 we are at right now. We are really in the third world war. We are fighting a battle, a battle to the death, and it is a spiritual battle. Satan is out in full force and is trying to destroy each and every one of us, beginning with the church with the family, and all we have to do is to look around us and watch on television what is happening worldwide, that countries have consecrated themselves to serve Satan. But God is raising an army. His remnant church is coming together and is empowering us to be able to teach people and to show them how we will be victorious with the immaculate heart of Mary and the sacred heart of Jesus. Amen. Wonderful. So I guess I will ask the very first question here. Um, okay. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, before you do, maybe yes. we want to remind our viewers, please, if you have any questions, we're going to be discussing the map and refuges. So if you have any questions about these topics, please put them into the live chat and I'll try to put them on the screen for John to answer. So feel free to put them in, please. John, yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. So I guess before we actually start, I wanted to make sure uh, make sure people understand that you do have a spiritual director that yes. got you if, with these messages. And in fact, I wasn't able to release them until your spiritual director reviewed what you know everything that we put on the website, <laughs> and he had to give his approval before I yes. recorded it. Yes, uh, um, uh, my my spiritual director uh, is Monsignor Enda McKenna. Uh, he is from Maryland, of course, if he's a McKenna. And uh, uh, and I have known him for about 37 years. He has been with me from the beginning. Before then, I had um, a Father Tom Flanagan, who later became Bishop Flanagan. Oh. And, so, and so that uh, I have been guided by good people that 
have taken me under their 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 wings and have showed me and at the same time uh god has has placed things in my spirit and in my heart that i really had no idea what was going on hmm. well i guess what i want to do uh i guess what i'll bring up the, uh, the next question and please yeah. if you're in money interrupt me i'm trying to make sure okay. <laughs> no, don't be too quiet. But you, uh, this past month, for the past few years, you, you told me that you've been waiting on a sign to release your messages again. Because it's been a few years, hasn't it? Yes. Uh, and recently, it, you just got a sign. Right. It has been a couple of years. And for one reason or another, is that uh, uh, the Lord told me to wait that he would give me a sign. And I could not figure out what the sign was until one morning I got up early in the morning and there was a robin, a bird that started to hit my window and he's still there. Uh, uh, and uh, he'd been doing it for one month and it's nonstop. And I call him my watcher. And what, and what is the responsibility of a watcher? That if you see the enemy coming, you have the responsibility to tell the world. And if you don't, and if they don't change, then it falls on you. But if you have shared, then you are no longer responsible for them. Mm -hmm. And so that I consider myself a servant of God, because I do not belong to me. I belong to the whole world. I belong to all of you. And God is my father, and he is the one that directs me in all things that I do. John, how often do you receive messages? It it depends. You know, uh, um, um, it's like I am in, in constant contact with, with God. And our lady, and uh, uh, sometimes is it is like I have like a knowing within me, and and the Lord just tells me. Um, I mean, we talk back and forth, and it's easy to talk to God. And uh, a lot of people think that they have to 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 do all kind of rituals, but really, all you have to do is just uh, uh, keep holy. And put God first in your heart and and just speak to him and he will talk to you. And the best place is when you go to adoration. Ah, oh, yes. And how do you test the spirits? Do you? Do you, well, do you yes. Oh, I mean, uh, um, I don't know if any of you know Father Ralph the Oriole. Uh, he was in a healing ministry maybe about mm, 20 years ago. Um, he had the gift of healing, and uh, uh, and he was invited to San Antonio. And for one reason or another, he, he took me under his wing, and he taught me many things about the uh, about the spiritual realm. And and Father Ralph uh, was was like a father to me. And being Italian, I didn't know that Italians did this. I mean, every time he saw me, he went, I said, oh my God, what was that? He said, it's because I love you, John. Oh. <laughs> and, so that's how and, I tell you I love you, huh? <laughs> and and uh, he said, we Italians greet those that we love with a slap. I said, well, okay, Father. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I mean, he taught me a lot. Uh, and Father Enda also taught me a lot. Um, uh, uh, we went into areas that sometimes angels don't, don't want to enter into. Oh. But but it, it but it is only through the grace of God that we can do it. A lot of people think you know that that uh, uh, that they can do things, but they really are not prepared because it is it it can be very dangerous to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. When, when we allow pride to take over, 
because I know people that have gone through life in the Spirit, have been baptized in the Holy Spirit, and, they, and they're on fire for God, and somebody has a problem, and they want to rush in. And what happens to them was the same thing that happened to some of the apostles and the disciples. When Jesus sent them, mm -hmm. I mean, they went in to uh, deliver or to exercise uh, some people, and the devil threw them out. Because mm. they were not prepared and they did not know what to do. And my mission is to teach the whole world. Whatever God has placed in my heart, let people, um, uh, like I told you, I, I have had this past uh, week and a half since I posted uh, the, the less methods. I had over a hundred and something people and calls from all over the world. Wow. And so the people are hungry. What are they hungry for? They're hungry for God. They're hungry for the truth. They're hungry for knowledge. They yes. want to know. They want to know what to do. Especially now that it's the time when we're starting to expect the warning. Some are wondering if it's going to be this year or next year. And you you mentioned, John, last time that you were here, you started talking about refuges yes. and how small refuges would mm -hmm. be tra would be transported by angels into yes. larger refuges. Can yes. you tell us a bit more about that? Yes. Uh, w w at, at first, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, I have shared, I guess, as to how I was shown the refugees. That that a lady, uh, I was in adoration, and and she just took me, uh, like between uh, the moon and the earth. And I was looking at the earth, and it was black. And I asked our lady, I said, "Why is the earth black?" And our lady told me, "My son, it is the sin of mankind." Hmm. And it is my son that is going to clean it and to remove sin from the face of the earth. And then as I was descending, is that uh, I started to see different bright lights um, throughout the, the, uh, the earth. And I saw five in San Antonio, I mean, in, in the United States. And I asked our lady, what are those lights? And she told me, those are the refuge that I have prepared for my children when, when God the Father gives the command of the warning. And so that none of, none of what I have shared would take place until after the warning. And, and, and uh, so that many people are, are afraid and scared as to what to do, but to answer your question, yes, we are called to build a refuge in our home. How do we start? We start first by consecrating ourselves to God completely, sincerely, and honestly. Because we can lie to anybody, but we can't lie to God. Mm -hmm. and because He knows our heart. And, and what I recommend and 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 what I did is that I, st I I I built a small little altar and 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 in the altar I put a crucifix. A lot of Catholics do not understand the difference between a crucifix and the cross. The crucifix has the corpus of Jesus, the body mm -hmm. of Jesus. And non-Catholics just have the cross. Mm -hmm. But we as Catholics, must have Jesus with his body on the cross. And then uh, I put uh, small statues of, of Our Lady of Fatima and of Jesus' Sacred Heart on each side. Then I put uh, uh, some, some candles and then I prayed for the Lord to teach me, to guide me, and to direct me. And so that I recommend that people do this in their homes. Mm -hmm. Even if if, 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 it, if it's only one people, because what happens when we do that, we 
place God as the owner and the master of our home. And we build refuge inside our homes and they become holy. So that when disaster comes, they will be protected. But right before the chastisement is that the, the, the uh, uh, God's angels will pick up the homes, the refuge, and take them inside the large refuge. Wow. And, 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 and because a lot of people ha have the tendency to move, do not move. Stay where you're at and then convert your home into a refuge with God being the center of all things. And as he changes you, you begin to grow. And it is the Holy Spirit that, 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 that will guide you and teach you. And our lady is always with us. Mm. We, we, we need to pray the rosary. We need to go to mass. And if we can go to daily mass, that would be wonderful mm. for us. And that is how we grow. We grow when we open ourselves to God and, and tell God, I'm ready. You could do with me as you want. Let me be your pencil and your eraser. Mm. So, I mean, God is very simple. Because so, the I'm more, sorry. so the refuge sites, they yes. will be more needed after the warning. Am I correct? Uh, we can have them uh, before. It's better to have them before the warning if we can. If we can, if we could help set something up like that. Well, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's, ahead of time. It's, it's something simple, you know, if we have to get a little can and uh, and stand uh, on on Main Street and tell them that, hey, uh, just, can you help me? Then you can buy a little cross and, a, and, a, uh, and just do a little um, a little altar. And that altar glorifies God and and. And, and the Holy Spirit will just bless your home. You want to bring your kids in that they're out there doing their own thing through prayer, through, uh, 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 through the love of God, and through the intercession of Our Lady. And, and the Holy Spirit is that God will touch them. One of our sons didn't want to go to church. We... They, they went to a Catholic church, my two boys, and they knew everything about the Catholic church. They, they went to college and they came back like, man, hmm. they were different. Yeah. But we prayed for them. And, and, and my uh, second youngest son, all of a sudden, had a conversion experience. He, he started to go back to Mass he went to uh, different Catholic retreats. He went to adoration and goes to adoration every week. He started to pray the rosary and God became his Lord and Savior of his mm. life. And, and, and because the, uh, a, lot of, a lot of men do not know that we are responsible for, for, for our family. It is a man that is the head of the house if, 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 if he is married because God puts an umbrella over the man and, 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 and through his sacrifice love and adoration and, and, and uh, prayers to the Lord he protects his family with this umbrella and so that, so that his family underneath him are blessed and protected Mm -hmm. Because when I, uh, 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 when the Lord gave me um, the cup, and a lot of you have heard about the cup, that the Lord asked me uh, if I would take it. And I said, yes, under one condition. And, and the Lord said, no problem. I said that not one of my children will be hurt. Not a bone will be broken. And mm -hmm. uh, now, um, 
And God said, no problem. After, hmm. a, a, about 10 years ago, my my daughter was uh, on a camping trip and uh, uh, they were up this this mountain uh, and uh, uh, and they were walking and it was about 200 feet uh, looking down. And what happened? She tripped and she fell. She, I mean, they videotaped her. I mean, uh, uh, on uh, not video, but on 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 the iPhones or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she was coming down. And when before she hit the ground, it looked like an angel had caught her. Wow. You, mm. you know, and 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 it's. I mean, she's got photographs of that. Now, now, how does that happen? Only through God. How far of a fall was that? Uh, uh, it was about 200 feet. Wow. I know. And uh, uh, people could see the, the, the outline of, 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 of a giant person that was invisible. And he caught her in his arms. Wow. Amazing. That's remarkable. If you have that video, you gotta share that with us. <laughs> well, I, if if I can get it from her, <laughs> yeah, that that's I, a I miracle. But but I, I wonder was she was she very very much hurt or how how wounded was she? None. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. N not a scratch. She was lifted up. She was. She was caught. She was caught. No, I understand, but that's extraordinary. Yeah, it's not it <laughs> because I'm almost sorry. Almost 100 meters fall, 200, 200. feet. Yep, it's incredible. I know because God is the God of the incredible. God is a God of the impossible, and all things that God does, man does not understand. Wow. Right. If, if, I, I wanted to also. If, if we. Uh, okay. Okay. We were talking a moment about refuge sites, and, you know, a lot of people wanted to know should they get ready to go to one, or do they create one, or should they wait? But there's something new that you, you and I had discovered yesterday by an email. Yes, uh, by a poor woman who uh, apparently the evil one is not waiting on you know people to be leaving for the refuge. He's already intervening, trying to uh, convince people that this is a a, a, a fraud, a hoax. A right, scam. true. Mm -hmm. uh, we I'm got sorry. this email yesterday, and yes. I was hoping you could share it with us so that people are aware that this is actually happening. But yes. Would you mind bringing that yes. up? Uh, and, uh, and like I said, is that the 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 other message from after the warning is that they are all over the world, and so that I got an email in French, which I don't speak, and uh, uh, and and uh, she said that as she read what God had given me to write. Is that everything was with with good because she had the same experience, and and what happened is that this nun told me that uh, 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 she was in Paris and that she was translating um, uh, the the messages that God had given me into French, and then ah. she, and then she spread them out to five continents. And so that, and 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 now this is God, you know. I mean, I thought I, I would have to go to Indonesia at when God said that I'm gonna teach and show the whole world, but being with you guys here, the whole world is going is, is coming uh, to us because God is sending them. Now, what happened is that uh, um, uh, uh, she. Uh, um, translated my messages and sent them in French. Uh, 
And uh, she told me that in Paris is that there are a lot of people that are making refuge. But, mm -hmm. but then from one of the people that read her message in French wrote to me directly and told me that a lady had offered and told her that she had a refuge, but that it was going to cost her. And she had three children. So um, what happened is that, uh, is that the lady uh, just wasn't who she was. And uh, uh, she told her that she shouldn't pray too much. And she began to get the idea that, hey, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah. And, what and what happened is that this lady was scammed for $42,000. Oh, dear. Yes. So we have to be careful and discern if somebody invites us into a home or a place that they call a refuge, that they are of God. Because mm -hmm. Satan will do whatever he can, whatever he can to destroy us. And so that this lady uh, was, um, uh, she met a couple that had a real refuge and she's staying with them now. But they scammed her for about $42,000, all her life savings. Goodness so, sake. So what this person did was pretty much say, you know, it's, it costs so much money to house someone to get things ready. We need the money in advance so he can get food and right. have a spot set up for you. Right. And she, with her three children, she gave them almost everything she had to right. try to secure a exactly. refuge. When in exactly. reality, he, these people were trying to steal her money. Right. And I want, I was shocked when I heard that because I mean, we've seen everything so far, and you think you know people can't get any worse, and they do. <laughs> well, now that now you're gonna start. If you ever have someone that says you know you can come to their refuge, but it'll cost you money, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it because everything that we do does not belong to us. It belongs mm -hmm. to God, and if God puts in the hearts of people to. Uh, open or create a refuge. If it is of God, they will not charge you anything. Right. And uh, Satan will try to copy that and take advantage, which he wants to destroy the refuge because he knows that once people are 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 in a refuge, is that. Uh, um, it says Satan cannot get to him. Now, I got a a, a message here from uh, um, Aubrey. Aubrey, right? She says, "Does a refuge mean that we should invite people into our homes too, if supernatural events begin to happen?" Yes, only people that we know that are holy, and we need to ask God to give us the gift of discernment and mm. be careful that because I mean, people, a lot of them are not godly people. So we need to ask for protection and ask for our angels to remove anybody that is trying to scam, that is trying to hurt the people of God. For they have no idea what waits for them when they face Jesus and they end up in hell for eternity. And John, how will we know if we are to stay in our homes or if we're to go somewhere else? Okay. Um, um, uh, you would have a knowing and an understanding for for example, uh, 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 I ask people that once they built their, their, their uh, little altar to pray and to invite people to their homes and start building community and sharing scripture and praying and praying the rosary, especially 
because the power of the rosary is beyond our understanding. Many of you have heard of what happened in Hiroshima. Yes. In, in, in Hiroshima, there were 12 priests that were praying in church, they were praying the rosary. And the atomic bomb that hit was almost was in ground, uh, ground zero. And that's what the church was. It destroyed everything except the 12 priests praying the rosary. They were not affected by radiation. They were not affected by anything. And scientists were puzzled. Why? Because God is God. Yeah. And they were in the epicenter. Yeah, yes. They were like six blocks away, I think. Yep. Exactly right. When it happened. Right. And, and, and people do not understand the power of the rosary. Yeah. It was, because uh, um, 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 I know that, that um, I can share a small experience that have, happened to me about the rosary. Uh, one time I was invited uh, uh, to visit uh, what they call, uh, it was um, uh, a men's, um, a men's group um, for for uh, businessmen, and and when I walked in, it was it was full of uh, of guys, and and I had my Bible, and I sat right next to a guy that later became a friend by the name of Jim, and uh, um, and Jim saw that I had a Catholic <laughs> Bible, and uh, uh, Jim told me, he said, he said uh, uh, John, um, I am Protestant but I pray the rosary. I said, what? <laughs> he said, what happened to me is that you will not believe. I was invited to a, uh, a Catholic mass that one of my friends had died and these crazy ladies were out, were just handing out rosaries. I looked at it and I said, I'm not a pagan. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, uh, uh, to do that. So he got his rosary, and underneath the, the, the uh, chair, he threw it away. And so that Jim was telling me is that, is that he was, um, I mean, he, he, he was not going to uh, pray the rosary because it was idolatry. Oh, and, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and then Jim said that, that when he got in his car to go home, the same rosary was on the seat right next to him <laughs> and he couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, Jim said is that, is that he was on a highway. He says he grabbed it, threw it out the window and, uh, and God knows what happens. He said he got home and when he got home, he undressed, went to bed and in front of his bed was the same rosary. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It is. And, well, and, and it's a true story because whatever I tell you is is true. And uh, uh, and Jim said that for seven, no, for five days, he could not sleep. He sat on a chair just looking at the rosary. Well, <laughs> speaking of rosaries, yes, you know how, well, there are apparently, you know, those cheap plastic rosaries, glow-in-the-dark right. rosaries. Yes. The they say that the crucifix has um, uh, Masonic or um, occult symbols on the yes. tips of the rose. Did, were were you ever? Did you ever get any instruction from heaven as to what to do with these rosaries? If they're yes. especially if they've been blessed, what do you do? You throw them away. So it's even satanic. if it's blessed, the, it, I mean, you you can bless a cow, a, a dog, a cat. Yeah. Okay, you can bless a rosary, and if it, it and if it is not with a pure cru crucifix of the person of Jesus Christ, you know, if it is not, get rid of it. But if it's a rosary with Jesus and the holy beads, keep it because it is of God. Okay, because, so I'm sorry. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, because Satan does not want us to pray the rosary. Yeah. 
So if it has the occult symbols, yes. how do we, do we, I guess we can't burn plastic. Do we bury it? Do we throw it in the water? Do we throw it in the garbage simply? What can we do? You get rid of it, throw it any place you want to. I ah. mean, but I mean, you can throw it at the window, you know, or if you're okay. driving, you know, uh, there, there is no ritual to uh, uh, getting rid of things of the occult. Yeah, because you just, my, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. I I have I have hundreds of little miraculous medals yes. that have the star at the top. I didn't. My mother bought them not knowing that yeah. they were the bad ones. Yes. And she had them exercised by an exorcist even. Right. And now I I'm I have all these medals now, and I so I can just throw okay. them in the bin. I mean, if it was exercised, and if there's uh, as long as it is not the uh, Five pointed star, you you are fine. If it is the symbol of of uh, a satanic ritual, get rid of it. Yeah, okay, I got so one of those medals too, the Marax medal, and I didn't know what to do with it, so I put it in a jar with exercise salt, and it sits there. It's a beautiful, uh, yeah, beautiful yeah. medal. I'm like I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't know what to do. With no, it. no, so, because I, I'm sorry. So Go ahead. He, even if the star is at the very top, if it's just one of the other stars, it's still okay? If there's any star, anything that is not of God, you get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, uh, it, it, um, I don't... Um, I have fought Satan all my life. Uh, well, not all my life, since I consecrated myself to serve God. Mm -hmm. And he has tried every trick on me in trying to deceive me. Yes. One time I was um, uh, in adoration and, uh, um, and in a locution, our Blessed Mother appeared and, uh, um, and I was praying and uh, I really had a beautiful heavenly time praying the rosary. A second time I went and it looked like the Blessed Mother, mm -hmm. but it was something different. I looked at her and she was wearing her, 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 um, uh, her dress, but it had a cut on the side like the prostitutes use. Oh. And, and uh, her face looked like wax. And immediately I knew that it was a deception of Satan to trick me. Yes. But God showed me that it wasn't. And I just, in the name of Jesus, I commanded to go and it went. And then a blessed mother came and she just smiled. Because we are called to discern everything. Yes. Of God. And don't take for granted that because it looks like the Blessed Mother, that, you, um, I mean, uh, even the church says you need to discern all things. Right. We have to. We have. Uh, um, uh, this is how we become uh, strong warriors. And Father DiRorio told me, um, he called me Juan. He said, Juanito, if you ask God for any gifts, Ask him for the gift of discernment. Mm. Yeah. So that you can tell if it's of God. I'm sorry, JB. No, no, um, brilliant. It's very interesting. I want to simply, uh, regarding the miraculous medal, uh, point out yes. um, and that's the subject that Father Laurentin as well dealt when yes. he was alive. Yes. Um, that this must not be ever anything above a cross. Yes. So even if it is a star above, yeah. even five pointed, it, nothing must be above the cross. N nothing. No? No. So that is a, a typical Masonic design. Yeah. So be on your guard. Right. Now, let me correct that. Not the cross, I but, didn't know that. <laughs> but, but the crucifix. Well, the, I'm, I'm referring to the cross behind the miraculous medal, which has no corpus. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. I'm sorry. I know. No, right. Uh, Usted habla español entre paréntesis. Oh, Usted, yes. uh, okay, I, 
do you propagate uh, uh, your mission, your message uh, to Spanish speaking American countries as well? Um, I, um, I, I speak Spanish, sí. um, but I have not traveled from my house. When I first was commissioned by God, he said never to promote myself. That people would come to me mm. because he would send them. And I have people that have traveled from many uh, parts of the United States, uh, several countries, and I don't know who they are, but they know me. Uh, we just have, uh, we just had a friend that that uh, uh, that uh, came from, I think it was Missouri, and uh, 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 we met with her about a couple of days ago. And we prayed, and uh, uh, and she wants to move to Texas. So I mean, I don't promote anything other that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, because a lot of people confuse uh, Christianity. You see, Christianity is not a religion; it is not. Mm -hmm. Christianity is the person. Of Jesus Christ. That is what Christianity is. Because we are the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. John. Yes. Uh, I know a lot of people are anxiously waiting to hear about this map that you shared with us. I was hoping yes. we could redirect to the map now. Well, no. That's uh, fine. Because uh, a lot of people, you know, I know... Uh, you were struggling with the idea of sharing it for a long time public. for oh, yeah. years. You had for a year. shared that with me years ago and I, but asked me not to say anything. And finally I, this month, I, I, you know, you didn't know what to do with it. And I kind of felt it was time that you needed to share that. So yes. I, I was hoping if you wouldn't mind telling us when and how you got this map, how did you generate it? <laughs> you okay. Know, okay. Draw it out or, okay. Well, can you tell us about it. Right. What what happened? Uh, I told you what happened to me when our lady showed me the refuge, and about a week later, in a uh, in a vision, I saw the the United States like you saw the map today. I saw that uh, California was nothing but just little islands, and then I saw, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, from uh, uh, in Texas that there was a river from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to the uh, Great Lakes. And it started on the other side of San Antonio and half of uh, Louisiana. Now, I saw it. Now, God didn't give me details, but I, I had an idea. Uh, and and uh, so, so that uh, um, what happened w was that I didn't know if I was nuts, but I knew I wasn't because it was a lady that showed it to me. But a week later, I get a letter in the mail from a gentleman from Blanco, Texas. He was basically around 82 or 83 years old. Or, uh, well, he was older than me. <laughs> and and, and uh, he sent me a letter and told me that 50 years ago, that God had given him this map and he gave me a drawing and explained on the letter that 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 when when I shared that is that he confirmed what I had said and and when I saw it it was identical to what the lady had showed me. Hmm. John, I, I, I'm so sorry. I can't show the whole map. It doesn't let me show the whole thing. So I'm going to let you explain what's there for the United States. But maybe you can talk about Canada and Mexico afterwards because I can't add it to the screen, okay. unfortunately. Oh, in, in, Actually, in, if, while you're talking, if you want, I will get that picture on that page that you're looking at so you can refresh okay. and see the whole thing. Okay. Yes, so please. Moment, while you're talking, John, I will yep. get it up. Okay, great. Uh, what, Thanks, what, Jimmy. What I was shown 
is that uh, um, uh, is that Central America, uh, you know, which is which is long and and it touches South America, uh, were like like little islands, and I couldn't. I mean, uh, I was just shown it, and uh, um, and and I saw uh, different land that that came out of the ocean, and I saw California uh, from 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 California almost all the way to Nevada that there were just little islands, and 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 I was baffled because I really didn't know what I was seeing. But then, when when it was confirmed by this elderly, holy gentleman, and he sent he drew a copy and sent it to me, I and in and, and in thirty five years, I this is, this was in nineteen eighty two, I lost the map, but this is what I got that I got on the internet. Hmm. And uh, uh, and um, the the other uh, sister from uh, uh, the the other uh, French sister from uh, um, from France, of course, uh, who is uh, she has a, a a ministry on the divine mercy, the, uh, the divine mercy of Sister Faustina, and she told me that she saw the map and it was identical, except that the East Coast. She saw that the water was all the way up to the Appalachian Mountains. Okay. And uh, uh, and and since then, there have been many people uh, that 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 have had the similar uh, um, uh, visions, and uh, uh, I had been hesitant for about maybe about 20 years until Jim and I talked and I spoke to my spiritual director and he said go for it and we did it and uh, and now the calls that we're getting are 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 very are very regal because people want to know the truth one thing I can tell you God will never give me dates or times mm -hmm. but he shows me what is going to happen. What is going to cause this? The sin of man. Unless men repent of their sin and turn to God, many things can be held back. But if, if, if man does not do that, then we will suffer the consequences of our own sin. Uh, Monique, I want you to refresh that page now. Okay. Oops. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, he's a tab. Okay. Just refresh the page. Okay. And then scroll down. And there's ah. the uh, there's the ah. cooler one. There's, there's there the other the, one. Yes, that's the original. That that I, uh, uh, I sent to Jim, but uh, being an artist, uh, he just cropped it to the United States. Okay. So and, uh, I can't fit it all on the screen. So I'm gonna have to scroll. So, right. um, okay. So I'm not sure what you see when I scroll. Though, well, well, yeah, I have to no, go no. right to the side. <laughs> I mean, me. so, I can see it. I can see it. Okay. So, do you want to start from the top and go down? Well, um, uh, a lot of this is is a uh, uh, is land that has been uh, it, it's gone. It's in the ocean, and there are other pieces of land that ha that have come up, and I don't know what they are, other th that they are places that can be inhabited by human beings. Hmm. And just so the audience knows, just earlier today, I shared with John a message that I had received from someone in Germany, not related at all. Yeah. And they had shared a map of what they seen of the United States. And I sent it to John because it looked almost exactly like this. The only difference was she said that in her vision, 
she's seen the map was actually 90 degrees clockwise said that at, this was after the three days of darkness she was shown that it would cause uh, the earth to go, fly off of its axis for three days and when right. it was recalibrated pretty much uh, pretty much north became east and south became west is what it looked like correct now if if, if uh, you can scroll up, you will see Central America. Oh, s scroll okay. down. Okay. No. Scroll okay. Down. okay. Do you, now, do you see Look. how it's, it's broken up? Over That's here. That's how I saw it. Okay. Where, where parts of Mexico became islands instead. Yes, right. Exactly. And Central America also. Now, when I was being shown this, I did not have a clue. <laughs> I didn't know. But what has happened is that I can say that everything that the Lord has given me and Our Lady has come to pass. I can hmm. never and will never make anything up. Like I told uh, uh, Jim, is that I don't, um, uh, I know that, that he's got the best website in the world, but I will never look at, 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 the, uh, um, at the messages because I do not want to be uh, biased Influenced? or, or mm -hmm. no, I just need to, to uh, do. To do your own thing. Yes. And not being contaminated no. with other uh, parties. No, That's, sir. That's uh, very wise. Can you lower the, the? Can we see South America as well? Uh, um, only, I, not, no, uh, no, only no. up, only up to that point. But yeah. the same thing that happened to South America, I mean, the same thing that happened to to the United States will happen to uh, to South America. But I was basically shown um, the map of the United States and Canada. And 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 it's it is identical to this. And the nun, like I said, the nun from France, who, who little did I know, is on James' website. Uh, confirmed exactly the map because she was given the uh, same map, with the exception that the East Coast was completely gone. Hmm. I'm surprised I'm that <clears throat> I'm surprised that this area is still there. I thought the whole that's what I thought as well that this would be gone. I see that the south the southern coast of uh, Florida is gone. Yes, but all this is still there. Well, the 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 the, the, uh, the tip of Florida and then uh to your right you see a landmass that comes up over here. Yeah. Now, now, John, this isn't a map you created. This is a map similar to what you were shown in your vision, right? That is, that is correct. All right. So people understand he didn't make this map. It's he just no. so happened to see no. found one that looked exactly like what he was shown. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. So people don't start screaming, "Oh, it's fraud!" It's a, he, he didn't. He didn't make this map. No. But, Okay. One that's going to get released in a few days, hopefully, on my site will show someone's drawing of what they've seen. And it was almost the same as what you were shown. Yes. And so uh, the Great Lakes here are pouring out, I guess. It's it's spilling over the land as well, right? Right. The, 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 uh, the Great Lakes become part, part of, of the waters... Uh, that uh, that will take place. Uh, there's no water coming out of the the, uh, the Great Lakes because the water is already there. In other words, it'll be more like a sea instead exactly. of a lake. Right. Mm. Okay. Now this isn't going to occur until around the end of the chastisements, right? People don't need to. Right. Uh, uh, right. Uh, it's. It's it's after the warning, and this will happen during the chastisement. 
So the chastisement would be between the warning and the three days of darkness, right? No, the three days of darkness will be before the chastisement. Are you sure? Yeah. I always thought it was the end of it. No. Not, not what I saw. Let me. Uh, I can share with you what what I saw. Uh, you know, when when I was uh, inside the refuge, and I have described what our what our lady showed me is that I went outside, and uh, uh, because there was a, a stillness, and there was no more sin in the world. All I saw was ashes and burned trees. I saw a few houses that were standing. But as I went out the door, I looked down and I saw a tree stump. And on a tree stump was like a, a little uh, 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 shrub that was green and was growing out of the stump. And to me, it gave me hope. And then later on, I saw the, the, the angels of God spreading God's grace. And the earth was turning back into what it was when God created the Garden of Eden. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I, I guess um, I guess all we can do is wait and see at this point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did hear other visionaries say similar things to what you were being shown here. Yes. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but I do remember one from the early 1900s that said that she was shown the United States after the chastisement. And right. she said that it would be the kingdom again, but that it would, they would, the people of that time, I, I swear she said that they would elect a king instead and, and do away with what we have now. But right. that, that, that ruler would pull all the peoples from like, you know, just not just uh, the Caucasians, but also the, the blacks from the South and the uh, native Americans from the, uh, from the West. And they would decide to separate the land into three and allow uh, the African Americans to create their own country in the South, allow the Native Americans to create their own country in the West, and the Caucasians would remain in the East. And I remember her saying that that's how she seen the country would, you know, end up with peace. It would turn into three separate nations eventually. Right. I don't know who it was? I can't find it for the life of me. But right. I remember well, her saying that, and when you show, uh, you see, I see in the map, it reminded me of that message. Yeah, I, what? All I can tell you is that uh, uh, is that I cannot make any comment on any other person that God has shown something. All I can share is what I have been shown and what I have seen. Uh, uh, people see different things, and and I just need to keep away from it. Okay. We have another one here. Um, the new Madrid fault failure will cause this. The last time it failed, the Ponsbrook's comet was present. It returns on April 8th. So yeah. the last time there was a solar eclipse, the new yeah. Madrid fault, that, that's where the, the X of the two... Uh, the two solar eclipses landed on the, the New Madrid Fault, and I think it was within three months there was a huge earthquake. Yes. Um, could this happen again with this time around with, with the comet? Um, what, uh, it's, it's possible, but, I mean, I really d don't want to guess on something that I do not know. Mm -hmm. um, when I saw this, uh, I was told that when the movement of the titanic plate would take place, that was when this would occur. Okay. So, and this would occur after the three days of darkness, as you, yes, from what you were shown. Okay. Yes, because what what happens on the, on the um, on a refuge, what, what they are, is that they are, um, it's like a dome, and then people. Uh, and refugees 
those that are in line with God because no sin can enter the refuge. And so that it is like an invisible dome that sin that is outside, Satan cannot see it. Anybody that is that is not in God's grace will be able to see it. Now, I question this, and then I was taken to the promise that God made to Noah. He said, and God told Noah that the earth would not be destroyed by water again, but by fire. Mm -hmm. And so that outside the dome is the darkness and the sin of the world. So God will destroy the sin and sin and sent Satan and his demons back to hell and the earth will become again like his, his creation from the very beginning. But nothing can enter that is sinful inside the domes. Okay. Mm. Hmm. I have a question. So, yeah. I'm so sorry, I interrupted you again, <laughs> Monique. No, Thank not you. at all. No, no, go ahead, please. Um, I, I know you, you've you received quite a f quite a, some extraordinary uh, revelations about uh, Northern America, Central America, and uh, the, the American Hemisphere altogether. Yes. Have you, were you told uh, by our Lord or by the Virgin Mary or St. Michael the Archangel, about some geopolitical events in other continents. I'm referring to possible military conflicts, uh, disasters uh, in other continents, Australia perhaps, uh, uh, Europe. Well, the, 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 uh, the, the military conflicts are, are already taking place. Um, I saw part of the United States, like when you look at the news and see what is happening in in uh, uh, in uh, uh, in uh, uh, in Israel? That the buildings uh, are just completely destroyed. That is what I saw. And on the east coast, I saw um, uh, 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 Chinese, uh, Cubans, and people from Venezuela, and the Russians. And on the other side, I saw the same thing. So, 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 uh, uh, exactly, you know, when all this will take place, I don't have any idea. But is it going to happen? Yes, it is. A lot of times, when God gives us uh, uh, visions or signs, we do not know the times. Now, uh, you guys are probably in Europe. But if anybody has seen the Rocky Mountains, you can see the Rocky Mountains from afar. But but you cannot you you do not know which mountain is first, which is second, which is third, and which is fourth. It it, it is a panoramic view of of, of the uh, uh, of the Rocky Mountains. This is what uh, I see in. Uh, uh, in what is to come and what is to happen. It is going to take place regardless. No one will, will be spared, but everybody will be given the opportunity at the time of the illumination. Mm -hmm. Wow. I see a lot of people. I guess uh, I did want to uh, ask I'm going to actually repeat Xavier's question. Do you know anything else about other continents like Europe you know, or Asia, no, Australia? No, but you're just only focused really on the United States. Well, uh, you are? Um, what I was shown was from, from Canada up all the way down to uh, uh, South America, and uh, okay. but not Europe. But it oh. stands to reason that if this happens to the United States, it's going to happen all over the world. Mm -hmm. Right. 
And we know even in scripture, it says, you know, at the breaking of the sixth seal, there was a earthquake that was felt almost around the world. So it's yes, not unthinkable that God would do this. And in fact, it says at the end of these tribulations in the Bible, that there would, it would appear as if there was a new heaven and a new earth. Yes. The whole world suddenly fell on its axis and regained equilibrium in a different degree. It would look like different, a different star system would look like different skies to us. Mm -hmm. You know, everything would be different in, in the right. end. So uh, it's not beyond reason that God would do what, you know, wouldn't do this. Right. No, it, it is correct. You see, it, it is not God that is punishing man. It is man that is causing this because of sin. A lot of people, uh, I blame the Jews for killing Jesus, but it was not the Jews that that uh, crucified Jesus. Do you know who crucified Jesus? Hmm. You and me, because of our sin. He died for the sin of mankind. It just happened that he lived during the time of the Romans and in Jerusalem that the Jews were in control. So, John, when when is the era of peace? If this happens, if the tribulation happens after the three days of darkness, when is the era of peace? Before that or after that? Uh, after that. And, and as I showed, uh, as I shared, is that when I saw that the angels were, uh, uh, were, were in a beautiful sky, and then they were dropping something, uh, God's grace, and the land that was nothing but ashes was changing into this most beautiful, um, uh, um, uh, not garden, but, but country. It was so beautiful, and it was so peaceful. And that, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, that is what I considered the, the, the era of, of peace. And uh, uh, in scripture, we read about certain things that are going to take place. Uh, uh, and this, and, and the scripture needs to be fulfilled before the, 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 uh, the coming of, of the turmoil. And uh, I, and it is, but scripture will be fulfilled after because the Antichrist is not is in the book of uh, Revelations and will be destroyed after. So the scripture will be fulfilled. So scripture needs to be fulfilled before Ar Armageddon or is Armageddon part of the no, fulfillment uh, of the scripture? Yes, right. Armageddon is part of the scripture. Okay. Right. And then what what comes after Armageddon? Is it not the judgment, the final judgment? Uh, no, uh, Jesus will be coming to earth. I mean, uh, I hate to say it, you know, uh, let me, if I can read this, uh, this is uh, the, the uh, third secret of Fatima. Mm -hmm. um, I read Spirit Daily. And I get some good information, and uh, and this was checked out. This is what the uh, uh, what the third secret of, uh, of Fatima. And again, I ask everybody to discern. Mm -hmm. And it is the tip of the spear, as a flame, unlatches and touches the axis of the earth. It shudders. Mountains, city, towns, and villages with their inhabitants are buried. The sea, the river, and the clouds emerge from their limits, overflowing and bringing with them in a whirlwind houses and people in numbers that are not possible to count. It is a purification of the world as it plunges into sin. Hatred and ambition cause the destruction of war. That is supposed to be the third secret of, of, of Fatima. Mm -hmm. I have a que another question, if I may. Yes. Sir. Um, how how often do you 
uh, receive these messages? Is it in terms of locution, visions? How often? Is it regular? Um, how often do you receive them? Uh, it's like, um, how can I say? Um, there, there is no set time. They just happen. You know, with uh, like I could be in my car or I could be in adoration or I could be in my house playing with my dogs and then things just come. But you see our Lord as a, uh, in a figure of, um, is it just in terms of locution? Do you see the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Michael, other saints? Do you see them yes. appear to you? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I've seen Our Lady, uh, St. Michael, Jesus, uh, and uh, uh, God the Father. Uh, uh, a, a lot of people uh, picture him as an old man with, with, with an old beard. That that's not what I was shown. Uh, I asked Our Lady if I could see God the Father, and uh, uh, and then she took me to this throne that was it was made out of a um, of a solid metal. Uh, it was it was square, and it was approximately I would say maybe about the size, uh, about half the size of the Empire State Building. And I saw God the Father sitting down. And uh, uh, and I was standing up, and, and uh, uh, he was muscular. He was strong. He was not like he's portrayed in many... Um, uh, drawings or pictures of an old man. No, he is strong. And uh, I, I saw his sandals and his garment were like those uh, um, that the angels wear or like uh, the garments of the uh, Roman Empire. But but his, his, his hands were so big and and I could see the uh, uh, the veins, uh, humongous and powerful, and and his voice was like thunder. And I could see most of his body, but I could never see his face. Uh, John. Yes, ma'am. I, I wanted to just clarify because I see a lot of people are a little confused. And yeah. Uh, a lot of people, like myself, I'm very analytical, and I like to think of things in a chronological order. Right. And you kind of just messed up my whole chronological order of what I thought. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm yeah. wondering, is it just more of, you know, your, you know, the order is according to what you've seen, but, you know, because we don't know exactly what, how the order is going to work out. Right. Uh, it, 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 everything is like 2020 in hindsight. Right. But looking forward, where you can only guess, and we think we know. Uh, is it is it possible that you're only kind of telling us the order according to how you were showing it, but it might or might not be in that order? Uh, okay, now, as far as, as, as the order of how things would take place, I have no idea. Okay. Okay. That's because a lot of people were confused thinking that you were giving them a different order. No, 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 no. But are they going to happen? Yes. Okay, so no. people don't have to be so confused now. Okay, now the worst thing, and I get a lot of emails, people want to know times, dates, and mm, when no. was first and second, forget it. Yeah. Forget no. it. It's no. all conditional. Right, because I, I, we have to trust and believe God in faith. That's right. And uh, uh, I mean, I've seen people that try to analyze it and rationalize. You're wasting your time. Um, John, someone says here the river in the middle of the USA is the same track of the solar eclipse. So, I, over I, this way. I do not know. Um, I know that the track of the the, the the first one went through every time I mean from 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 every town in the United States by the name of Salem now Salem 
is the word uh, peace. And it stands for Jerusalem, right? It's a short name for yeah. Jerusalem. Right, yeah. exactly. And then uh, the this one that, that is coming is going to come uh, through uh, uh, every town that is named Nineveh. Right. And uh, and it's going to come to Fredericksburg. And and uh, we expect over maybe half a million people here in in uh, this small little town. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I I heard that the National Guard was commissioned, was was going to be uh, sent to action. I don't know. They're, I don't know what they're expecting, but do you have any insight as to what they could? Are they are they expecting? I mean, do we think there's going to be unrest of some sort or? Well, see, the, uh, uh, that is where um, spirituality and and the natural world come in. The the uh, natural world. Uh, excuse my language, but I think that there are a lot of stupid people. Uh, and and uh, uh, because they they try to use logic and and things uh, in in order to. Uh, gain points with somebody uh, but in 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 reality we have no idea but but we know that God speaks to us in signs this is what Jesus told his disciples when is this going to take place and Jesus told them nobody knows not even I the son of God only God the Father knows. Mm -hmm. And if we try to put a computer or, or use logic, you're wasting your time. You you might as well go and uh, eat an ice cream cone with Dairy Queen. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, one of the things that is confusing, and I hope that I do not uh, uh, offend people because... Uh, the, the the Catholic Church is the only church, and it's a church of God. And up to the 1500th century, that the only thing that we had was the Catholic Vulgate, the Catholic Bible. And what happened is that with Luther, and then uh, John Wesley, and and so forth, they started to deviate. And take away from it, and mm -hmm. so that uh, that was the parting of the uh, uh, of, of the uh, the split of the church at that time. Since then, it has grown tremendously. Now, um, what I was shown on my first death experience that everybody will be praying the rosary, even Protestants. Even atheists, even Buddhists, because we fall under the spirit, the love, and the blood of God our Father. And and and, uh, and sometimes uh, Protestants ask me, I don't have to do that because I believe in a rapture. Now, what I'm going to say my mess up, I mean, you see, I don't have the problem in, in, in what God places in my heart. Um, because a lot of Protestants believe in a rapture. He said, I don't have to do that. All I have to do is just, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be taken up in the sky. Now, I ask people that are listening to do some research on their own. The raptured, the 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 raptured doctrine, is one of the most recent new doctrines in the history of the church. The only doctrine more recent is the invention of the sinner's prayer for salvation by Billy Graham in 1930, which made popular by Billy Graham in 1935. Now the rapture does not exist. The fact that John Nelson 
Darby invented the tree, the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine around 1830 AD is unquestionably true. All attempts to find evidence of this wild doctrine before 1830 have failed, with a single exception. Morgan Edwards wrote a short essay as a college paper paper for Brist, uh, uh, Bristol Baptist College in Bristol, England in 1744, where he confused the second coming with the first resurrection of Revelation 20 and described a pre-tribulation rapture. And so the rapture is a lie. It does not exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it's kind of tough, but I just have to tell you what the Lord has shown me. Um, I, I know that we're running towards the end of this uh, podcast. John, is there any final things that you'd like to share with the audience? Well, yes. Uh, a lot of people have, 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 have asked me, what do I do to, to prepare for what is coming? First of all, is that we all must turn to God, repent of our sins, and accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. We, we are called to be holy as God is holy. We are to prepare a safe and holy place in our home with blessed candles, reconsecrate ourselves to God, attend daily Mass as a minimum, attend Mass on Sunday, visit the Blessed Sacrament and hear God's voice as He communicates with you individually concerning preparation. Pray the Rosary daily. Mm -hmm. Be a model and reflection of Jesus Christ to all people. A lot of times we think that that we need to do big things. No, we are called to do small, simple, kindly gestures of goodness to others as such importance. Example, opening doors for people, helping in small ways those needing a hand, smiling with joy and love, even when we don't feel up to it. It is the little things that we do for others that pleases and puts a smile in God's face. We are called to be good and holy in the same acts of daily living. Forgive everyone that has hurt and even cursed you. As the Holy Spirit, our Blessed Mother, our guardian angels to always be with us. Love all people regardless of race, creed, or political ideology or differences. This is one way that the only way that we can defeat evil is with love. Mm -hmm. Did I answer your question? I hope. <laughs> yes, you did. I mean, it, a lot of times it is very hard to forgive people, but only God gives us the grace to do that. And, and, and the, the, uh, the bottom line is that we are called to be holy as God is holy. Does anyone else have any other questions before we close this out? Actually, I had one. I was wondering, when we are asked to leave our, our homes, if we are called to a, a larger refuge, mm -hmm. will we ever come back? I mean, you know what, if, like... We've been told to prepare to get sacramentals and food and and books, good religious books and things like that. But we can't bring all that to the refuges. Is there a point in time where we will be going back to our homes to to use all these things? Or well, uh, uh, we will be in in a new world, and 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 our homes will will be given to us. It will not be the same. As oh. we live life today, it is not like going to a movies and seeing uh, uh, John Wick or or <laughs> or whatever. You know, uh, it, it's going to be a holy, beautiful world that you cannot even imagine. 
that God has created for us since the beginning of time. We would have had this if there was not disobedience by Adam and Eve and the temptation of Satan. And so that we, it, it is being restored, but what has destroyed paradise has been the sin of man. And God cannot stand sin. If we look and see the words of Jesus at the cross of the crucifixion, the first words that came out of his lips was, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And then he continues, and they say, Eli, Eli Samatami, my Lord and my God, why have you abandoned me? There was a time that Jesus accepted upon himself all the sin of us, of mankind, from the beginning to the end. So Jesus became sin, and Jesus and God, the Father, turned away from Jesus. That's when he said, Father, why have you forsaken me? And people do not know this, that Jesus died for everybody's sin, and we are the ones that are causing the problem today. The, the problem that is happening all over the world, we have contributed by our sin. And so, John, after the three days of darkness, when sin, when the earth has been purified, will we go back to living many more years like they did in the early times of the Bible and elderly people having children? And Yes, yes. I, I, I was told, I hope it's true, that I will live to be 800 years old. Oh, wow. So, because... People say that progress has given life to man. What has happened, the opposite. What has happened in, in, in medicine and so forth. The, what man has done has shortened the lifespan of man. Mm -hmm. In the early church, Enoch what 800 years old. It took Moses 40 years to build the ark. Not Moses. I'm sorry. Noah. Oh, wait, Noah. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm allowed to make one mistake, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, okay. I, I, have, I, I appreciate you guys and I pray and hope that all those that are listening, that the Holy Spirit has touched their hearts and given them an insight as to what we are called to do. It is not difficult. It is very easy. It's getting on our knees and praising God and accepting Him as a personal Lord and Savior. I believe in Chronicles, it says, if my people humble themselves and repent of their sins, I will restore their land. I will restore their soul. Amen. I think you're a splendid gentleman and a splendid uh, spokesperson uh, from heaven. And uh, I, I ask you, sir, uh, Mr. Martinez, as you, you pray for me and for my family. Por favor, yes. rece por mí y por mi familia, ¿vale? Así, chico. Uh, um, uh, and I ask the same thing to pray for me because all of us are doing God's work. It is yes. going to take God's army, our lady's army, that is being established and we are called to build and to help people come closer to God and let go 
because gold is not going to take you to heaven. Mm -hmm. It is our love for each other and our love for God unconditionally. <laughs> Amen. John, would, yes, you, would you mind uh, closing us out with a prayer or blessing? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for my brothers and sisters, Lord, that are with me right now, for you have called them, Lord, at the time of the conception to be your prayer warriors for, for this time. And I pray for all those people that are watching, that you speak to them, Lord God, that you just Give them the grace to become your remnant church, your your army, Lord, to, to, to be ready to do what needs to be done to defeat Lucifer and all his minions, Lord, that you give us the grace of love, that you give us the power to the Holy Spirit, Lord, for I know that in these times that your Holy Spirit will be unleashed upon all mankind and we will have the right and the choice to make to accept you or to reject you. I ask you that you bless every single person that is listening to us, Lord, in your holy name and in the person of Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, John. We're so grateful to have you on. It's always so fascinating to hear and to, to you have such a beautiful perspective and it it helps us to know where we're headed and to prepare. Yes. So thank you so much, John. It was such a pleasure to have you again. Well, well thank you and, and God bless you guys. And Javier, voy a seguir rezando por tu familia. Un millón de gracias. Okay. Igualmente por usted. Ok, chico. Gracias. Vale. Gracias. Vale. <laughs> and thank you, Jimmy and Monique, for having been so kind to invite me. Uh, I was not expecting this. Uh, I'm very grateful. Thank you. <laughs> it's always a pleasure, Javier. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us tonight. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen. Good night, everyone. Amen.